In related news, the Presidential Commission on Good Government, or PCGG, also welcomed the Sandigan Bayan's ruling on the Marcus's jewelry. Ara Perez reports. Presidential Commission on Good Government of the Sandigan Bayan's decision regarding the Marcus's ill-gotten wealth. Sandigan Bayan stressed that the jewelry of the Marcuses, which the family left when they abandoned Malacanang, are properties of the government. The office said that this is part of the Marcuses' ill-gotten wealth. Obviously, this is a very positive development, uh, not only for the PCGG, but for the Aquino government. It again exemplifies that after all is said and done, crime and corruption do not pay. And though while the decision uh, could have been promulgated earlier, I think we're very happy with it. Uh, as you know, this is just on the Sandigan Bayan level, so we are unsure as to what the next step of the Marcuses would be. Because of the decision, PCGG said that the jewelry collections of the Marcuses are now legally owned by the government. Besides the Malacanang collection, which amounts to $110,000 to $153,000 based on the 1991 estimates of Christie's, a well-known auction in the United States of America, the Banco Central ng Pilipinas has already in custody the $1.5 million to $2 million worth of Honolulu collection and the Remolotes collection, which they got Greek collector in 1986, amounting to $4.7 million to $6.4 million. As you know, because these jewelries are um, very valuable, we need to make sure that the venue is secure. So what are the issues? You know, security issues, metal issues in respect of insurance, to make sure that there is no filterage. I don't know what's going on, it's that you're not going to go to so, the whole of the Marcus's ill-gotten wealth is estimated at $5 billion and by the end of 2012, PCGG has returned 164 billion pesos or $4 billion to the country's funds. PCGG Chair Andres Bautista said that beyond the delays, the Marcus's ill-gotten wealth is slowly being returned to its rightful place. Corruption and crime does not pay and that it may take long but eventually the long arm of the law uh, will catch up with you. PCGG now plans to exhibit the jewelry's three collections following the Sandigan Bayan decision. PCGG said that its negotiations and getting back the almost 150 paintings that the Marcos has got is still also in effect. For the People's Television, this is Ara Perez.